All right, folks, we are here. This is the first skiff rally of 2022. We got the fleet here set up, ready to rock and roll. We're about to be heading out. You guys ready? We ready. So right now, we're in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and we're about to be headed toward Boggy Bayou to go explore where Turkey Creek spills out into the bay. So we have a total of uh, six, no, five boats right now. We still have one more to come in. He's just gonna kind of be bouncing in and out. We got some cool crafts. Like, check out this thing over here. This is a very, very cool Pompano 23. Right here you can see Mitch with this cool. He just got this boat. Pretty SS cool. SS Redneck, baby. The SS Redneck. Then we got Ian in the Sea Hunt over here. This is, then we got Bill over here. And this is Josh and Jen. <laughs> All right, so something I've never heard of. It's called a Snackle Box that Ian has. A Snackle Box? I'm gonna have to see what's in your Snackle Boxes. <laughs> How many did you bring? He brought two snackle boxes. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. So after the lightning strike, I figured there may be a few electrical gremlins that I have to deal with. And I've just found one. My VHF and radio have quit. But my Simrad is still rock and rolling, so I'm thinking I blew a fuse or some sort of a... Them up ahead of us talking, that's Mitch and Ian. So I'm gonna have to chase down what that little electrical issue is. But I'd prefer to use my primary VHF versus my handheld. That's why you always carry two. Right over to the restaurant. You didn't eat there on your tugboat? Yeah, so all right, so we're headed out. So we're all loading up in Ian's boat, and we're gonna go right over here to the restaurant. Oh, <laughs> oh did I get it? Yeah. Josh fell in the boat. Oh, Lord. This is Josh. You gotta watch Josh. If you guys remember Josh from Rocket Dog, he's the one who did the trip dip in the broken water spigot when Ron broke the water spigot. That's Josh. That's how we met. Come on, you're gonna be famous. Here we go. We got one. <laughs> Woo! I got to get clean. I got you, Josh. Oh, he's he's wearing underwear. <laughs> For your benefit, buddy. <laughs> not, no, I'm not really sure. So we had ourselves a fine lunch here at the locals' restaurant before we headed back out to a little sandbar to spend the afternoon. Uh, yeah, we're we'll pulling it. All right. We got some redfish right out here in between us. Mitt's trying to catch one. Ian's been trying to net them. Come on, get him. Oh, yeah. They're not hungry. Oh! <laughs> I could have caught him if I didn't have a camera in my hand. <laughs> Alright, so we're anchored up here at Rocky Bayou. This is where we're going to be for tonight. Everybody's kind of sitting around. We're having some dinner, jerky. Is that, what is she, oh, Danielle's sleeping. Josh is knocking his stuff over. What'd you knock over, Josh? Oh, he's not happy. He knocked over something. Josh! Important. He knocked over something important. <laughs> we got something, some dessert. I just remembered I had another Tri Treats box. I've been saving so we can share it with everybody. So let's see what we got in here. Is this your hat, Mitch? Yep. Yeah. Jeez. It's gone. it's gone. Sorry. Oh, and Ian had to go get his Smackle box. Mr. Snackle himself. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Snacklebox, we're calling it. I like Mr. Tacklebox, you can have that. Well, this is a different one. Yeah. Like chili pistachios. Uh -huh. and barbecue pistachios. And jerky. Macadamias. Whoa. It's like high quality stuff. Is that potted meat? I'm not playing. 
Bacon's spam. Epic. Epic. Uncured bacon. Oh crap. Go on. Come on. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, turn the camera off. We do it. This is turn what we do. Off me. Give me crap about my ass and he takes your spot. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Mitch knows a lot of stuff. Where's that from, Mitch? Is that... Uh, that looks... I don't know. Thailand. All right, we got chips. What is this? Academia? Or... Spicy? Oh. Mm. This is the Slim Jam. Mm. The bacon one. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, there's no English on it. Oh, it's a bento. Holy crap! Squid seafood snack. Yeah. You know bait. What? We got bait. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that ain't bait. You know who you're talking to. Sticks. Try the onion oh, bacon. bacon. What's it? Hickory? Uncured bacon. Uh, doesn't say anything about hickory. Hmm. Pretty good. You try a piece. It is good. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Pretty good. All right, so we got the most unique thing out. It's the squid, and it smells. Oh, it's stuck together. Oh. Oh gosh, it's sticky. <laughs> oh. Oh lord. Lord. And it smells like, you know, the flaky fish food. Yeah. Mm mm. It, it tastes like the fish food tastes like. I guarantee it. <laughs> Mm. It's very spicy. Mm. Oh, I can do spicy. Let me try. Mm. Wow. Uh, you gotta hold it down so you can break off a piece. That is uh, that is spicy, son. Oh wow. Hot dang. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dang. Oh, that's legit. But the smell and the aftertaste is like you're you just whipped up. Like I just fish fed food. my goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> and it's spicy. It is spicy. That's salt. a spicy gold. Okay, fish. I'm sorry. I'm I'm with that. I like that. Okay, it's yours. No. <laughs> it's too spicy for me. No, seriously, we're gonna put this on a hook and see if we can catch it. Okay, fish. that'll work. That's so spicy, I can't do it anymore. Are you serious? Yeah. Down with spicy. I'm not down. I'm down with spice. Not like fire. Okay, now I just got the piece of bait. Yeah. Right, I'm good. <laughs> mm. I want you to drop one. Let's go pass it out amongst the others. Mm hmm. Well, there's two. Be like, here, smell this. Tell me what smells. Anybody over there not handle spice? Um, Why is that who you want to give it to? No. <laughs> I want to spare them. Oh, that sounds like something uh, I would Danielle do. Danielle doesn't like spice. Uh, but Danielle! <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Ben sauce. It's a spicy like snack from Thailand. Yeah. Just taste a little piece. If you don't like it, just throw it in the water. Yeah, fish, fish love it. <laughs> Okay, then you gotta okay, try this one. A bigger bite. <laughs> but you have to smell this first. And what does it smell like? Wow. That smell good, does it? This actually is okay. good. <laughs> I don't know. Just try Hot a taste, warm. small taste. It is, isn't it? Come on, Josh. No, I now smell, smell this. Why? It's not that bad. It smells like still cheese. Oh, you ate a bunch, so. Woo! Oh, yeah. Me too. Is it okay? It's not that bad. What? It's not that bad. I'm looking you in your eye. I trust, I'm no. trust, I trust you. He's oh, got I'm, a lazy eye. I'm still, I'm still chewing. Oh. Right. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Daniel? <laughs> Spicy. Here, smell this. It's squid. Ew! <laughs> What the no, heck? Are you just a fishy taste? <laughs> <laughs> He's been down. What's that smell like? I think that was my problem, is I couldn't really smell it. It's I was so like, funny. <laughs> Huge chunk. It's supposed to be intolerable. It's, I wish it wasn't chewy. Man, that crap is good. Huge <laughs> <laughs> chunk. Eat a huge chunk. Yeah, Eat a huge chunk. Big chunk. That's, that's the there you go. Okay. You like the, the taste? The, the really the funky fishy taste is in it's here. It's not like the fish food. You're cool with that? Yeah, fish food. Yeah, thank you. Beta fish yeah. food. Yeah. Woo. It tastes like, yeah, something. Okay, well, you can have the rest. <laughs> oh. oh. All right, let's go get some candy. Let's go get some dessert. <sighs> Woo. Yeah, like now all I smell is fish food. But it's fun. See, that's what's cool about this stuff. You know, it's a unique experience. Ah. I'm breathing fire. Woo!
It's hot. Yeah. Just like a little Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> so much fun. This is why you should buy you a mystery snackle box. <laughs> Where's your dehydrated milk? <laughs> <laughs> Freeze dried milk. All right, folks, if you guys want something fun to share with your kids or grandkids, go to trytreats.com and try it. Use code TRIPSMITH and get like 15% off. It's fun. And it's it's most of it's good, but it's a fun experience. That's what life's about. All right, I gotta get something else to eat and drink. Oh. So we spent the night anchored out in the middle of Rocky Bayou and woke up to this beautiful sunrise. And then we headed out for some more adventure. All right, so the fleet we just pulled up here at some of the jetties outside of Denson Pass. The water is impeccable, so flat, so perfect. High tide is in like an hour, so it's perfect. Most of our day at Crab Island, just kind of hanging out and chilling. Then we had a storm cloud coming up. You guys can see back where Crab Island is now. It is now rain. So we are heading. So apparently, it's bath time. This is the only chance we'll get. It's a good time for a fresh water shower, I guess. Well, this will be freezing.
tell you you gotta grill the sausage when the rain is coming down. Can't make a campfire? Break out the torch. <laughs> So we spent the rest of our night right there on that little sandbar and we were able to watch some fireworks off in the distance at the Billy Bowlegs mm -hmm. Festival, which we had found out about just a little while earlier that day. And that is where we found ourselves the next morning. All right, so we didn't actually know it, but it turns out there's a festival called the Billy Bowlegs Festival that is going on this weekend. And <laughs> basically we found out yesterday evening someone said, hey, Y'all going to Billy Bullegs tomorrow? We're like, uh, I don't know, I guess so. So we're over here checking it out and it is crazy. Let me show you guys what's going on. You basically got boats everywhere pulling up, uh, trying to anchor, learning how to anchor as so it appears. And then you've got just, right here we have a parade route where there's gonna be like a pirate parade type deal later on. But from what I've gathered so far, this is just a crazy and uh, kind of nutso and a little wild happenings that are going to go on here for the rest of the day. So we've been here since about 9.30, no about 9 o'clock, it's about 10 now, and we're probably not going to be here a whole lot longer. <laughs> we just had to stop in and see what it was like, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I really want to experience. <laughs> Alright, we just wait anchor, we are moving on. It's getting too loud, just too, I don't know. It's going to be a little crazy up in there today. The fleet is moving on. Now we're headed into the Destin Harbor. Gonna go have lunch at Beau Champs. It's about the only place you can pull a boat up nicely. Well, fairly good. You guys, I got good news and I got bad news. I mean, the bad news isn't, you know, catastrophic or anything, but to me, it's heartbreaking. Good news is we had a great lunch and now we are here anchored up uh, right here on the beach in the harbor. It's just a fantastic spot. We kind of got away from the the rumble and bumble of Billy Bill Legs and Crab Island. And we're gonna hang here for the rest of the day, pretty much. Bad news, it's right up here. My babies have bit the dust. And I was swimming out there and like, I was setting the anchor. I was like down on the bottom, you know, grabbing the anchor, running out into deeper water, you know, like you do in the surfing movies, you know, where you're running with a rock. I was running with the anchor underwater to set it out farther and uh, pop my little, my little, uh, I don't know, toe strap on my sandal. It's not just a sandal, this is an earth runner. Let me show you how much I wear these things. Notice the tan lines. Yes, that is how often I wear my earth runners. Like so often, it is constant. Oh snap, we just told you we've got some folks pulling up. We're trying to reserve a spot. Yeah, yeah, tell them to come over there. All right, so uh, gosh, man, I can't believe that that happened. That is detrimental to a man like me, especially on an adventure. <laughs> That's okay, I do have another pair of shoes, but I don't really wanna wear them, but I guess I, I will. All right, we're just gonna hang out and have a good time. Y'all, we're having so much fun at the scooter probably. I haven't been doing a lot of filming, and I'm sorry if the story is struggling, but the rally is not about creating a video, right? It's about hanging out with the attendees at the rally and doing good stuff. Cause like if I'm focused on the video, I'm focused on the video and everything else suffers because of it. So that's not the priority here. All right, I'm gonna get after it. So the day has passed us by. Here we are, we're still kind of chilling up right here at the beach in the harbor. A lot of folks have left. We're playing some guitar on the back Woo! of the boat. We got the whole crew out here. A few more over here, they're getting their Hawaiian shirts on, ready to go to the Harbor Walk tonight. So we are gonna have a grand old time. But it's just been nice to relax and take it easy. It really has. Can't complain about much, I mean, I guess the only complaint I might have is that there's not much of a sunset tonight, but that's okay. We're still having a great time, just hanging out, I mean. Just my turn and walk away. It's hard to say what it is I see in you. Wonder if I'll always be with you. Words can't say it, I can't too. Hey! Don't say we don't have a good time at the skip rally. <laughs>
Is it? Is that Ian? The skiff rally. Wow. We had a great time, a grand time, and it is over, and I'm sad to see it over. But next time, we're going to St. Mark's, and then the third one, just chatting about it in this skiff rally. We changed it from Panama City to Orange Beach. Stay tuned for that. All right. I'll see y'all in the next adventure because they are coming. The Sea Dory, she's back in action, as you can see. But rock and roll and check off some boxes and make some epic adventures happen. All right, folks, take care of yourselves. Get out there. God bless, and I'll see y'all in the next adventure. Love you.